All right. Let's see. I hope this works. This is I'm on my Samsung phone, and I haven't used my Samsung phone in forever other than listening to audio. Hi there. It's Terry from TLC. So nobody's on to tell me whether it's working or not. And if it's not working, well, then it's fine. It's not working. Um, I wanted to pop on and talk about something that is a problem for people that gets people upset and concerned and worried and it's about the dew claws whether they're the front dew claws or the rear dew claws people really get worried and upset and concerned about it and Maggie that I just finished she's got front dew claws and rear dew claws okay so I wanted to try and show a bit about that because the rear dew claws can be a real problem for people because they curl around real tight into that pad that's that the the rear dew claw grows out of okay it can curl around and i've taken um dogs thousands of dogs thousands of dogs where i've had to cut with my clippers where it's the entry point of where it's grown into their pad and it's come out through the other side so it's like the dew claw itself has grown around and it's pierced through the pad. And um, sometimes that can get infected, of course, because it's this big wound. So that's a problem. And people don't understand what to do, right? They Sometimes they think that the, the nails weren't cut the last time that the dog was into the grooming salon. and Or it wasn't cut short enough, that kind of thing. And... What I usually explain to people is that the dew claw is up off the ground, right? So it doesn't, it doesn't touch the ground. It doesn't wear off naturally on any surface that the dog's walking on, okay? Regardless of how active you are or you aren't, okay? So that dew claw, front or back, never touches the ground and it's going to essentially be longer. Well, it's not necessarily that um, it wasn't cut or that it wasn't cut short enough. It's just that it's how it grows because they curl around okay and they don't wear down at all okay so you want to pay extra special attention if your dog's got the fronts and, and the rears the rears are kind of scary okay um i've had lots of groomers over the years that they won't even um hi whoever's on and sorry i'm so wiggly this is a heavy phone this is my big old samsung phone so i'm trying not to jump around but i seem to be failing at it um a lot of junior groomers are just like, oh gosh, I don't want to, I don't want to get in there and, and get that, get that cut because it grows so close to the pad. So I'm going to try and turn the camera around and show you Maggie's uh, rear dew claws. One side I've cut and the other side I haven't. I wanted to leave it so that you guys could, could see it, see what it looks like. Come on, Mags. Let me just see if I can get it turned around. Schmags. Schmags. I'm turning you, ma'am. Okay. Ready? Here we go. Turning. Where's the button to turn it? There we go. Hi, whoever's on. I can't see who's on. Say hi. Thanks for the thumbs up, but um, say hi. And I don't know if it's just because it's a Samsung phone that I don't usually use or what. But anyway, at least I know you're on and you can see me. Switching camera. Okay. So there's Max. Schmagles. Yeah. She's older. And uh, she's a hard haircut for me to do. And I'll tell you about that why later. About why later. Oh, that's the cut side. Let me your foot. Maggie's in a lot. Okay. So there's that dew claw. So she was in at Christmas. Okay. See that pad? It's not going to take too much longer, is it? Can you see it? Wish I had to cut a little bit more hair back for you for you to see better. Okay. There's not a lot of clearance between this pad and that toenail, the end of that toenail. Okay? I got to get in there and I got to get it cut back so it stops because it will grow and go pierce and it'll pierce that little back pad right there. Okay? Let's see if I can get her fronts. You see my fronts, Max? Can you see? Can you see, Max? She doesn't like her feet touched. Not many dogs do. Okay. So there's the front dew claw right there. You can't really see the pad. Mm, having a hard time focusing. Sorry. The 
pause right there where my thumb is. It's like a fleshy piece. Okay. See all those black dots in those toenails? Those are her quicks. So those toenails can't come back any further. So when she walks, these nails hit the surface. But up here, where the dew claw is, she, she hates it. She hates having her feet touched. The dew claw is right here. When you put her foot down. Schmags, can you turn around a little bit so people can see? Nope. She's not going to cooperate with me. That's okay. Trying. So the dew claw is up here. Okay. It's up here and it doesn't touch the ground. So you got to pay closer attention when you've got front and rear dew claws on your dog. Um, so she was here at Christmas. So December. So it's not even been a full, a full eight weeks yet. And she's back. Okay. She has really, really, she's older. So she's got really, really, really thin hair. And mom likes her face cut right off short, right off short. She gets mucky and stuff, okay? So she's in quite a lot for us to, to look after the, the things that she needs to have taken care of. So I just wanted to pop on and talk about the dew claws. Um, if you've got questions about it, if you've got a dog with dew claws, front or back, doesn't matter. Put the question in the comments and I'll circle back around and I'll answer it. Um... Yeah, people really get, they really get upset about it, um, and they don't know what to do. So, I would say that if you've gone eight weeks or long, eight, long, eight weeks or longer, you're due, okay? You're due for a nail cut, for sure, okay? So, thanks, have a great day, everybody. It's crazy storm and weather here in Hamilton, and um, if you had to stay home from work, Hopefully you got to snuggle in with a good book on the couch and be warm. Okay, talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.